Hello everybody, I hope everything's well, and as always, let's jump right into this. Now this video I'm bringing to you by uh, Truth Stream. alright? They have their own channel on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be disgusting what uh, CERN is trying to do, alright? Now I'm going to pause the video here and there, alright? Give my two cents. But without further ado, let's begin. And please play, uh, pay very close attention to what is being said. There's been a lot of speculation about what CERN can do and about the fact that the Large Hadron Collider is currently being pushed up to the highest energy levels seen in a collider experiment in the history of modern man. 13 trillion electron volts. That's the energy which the Large Hadron Collider smashes together protons, new this year, 2015. Considering that it's the largest machine on the planet, and it runs superconducting electrons... Now, we all know it's 2018, they've been doing this since 2015. Alright, keep that in mind. ...electromagnets of which the main dipoles generate 8.4 Tesla magnetic fields that are more than 100,000 times more powerful than the Earth's magnetic field. It seems rather silly to sit around yawning and acting like this will have absolutely no effect on the planet. Right now, 100 meters below us, superconducting magnets just like these are doing the heavy lifting required to get these proton beams to bend around the 27-kilometer tunnel and allow them to get up to almost the speed of light and to 13 TeV, which is the highest energy that humans have ever used in a collider experiment. People have said things like, oh, well, certain scientists are trying to find dark matter and create black holes and open up other dimensions while other people like to come into videos like the one I'm making right now and mock those people. But the truth is that's exactly what the scientists at CERN are doing. Literally. Here's a scientist at CERN talking about how that is exactly what they're doing. So what are we looking for? Things like dark matter, dark energy, supersymmetry, uh, quantum black holes, large extra dimensions. But really, we're just pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. That's what you need to know about CERN. Okay, so... You don't really need to argue with anybody now when it comes to this information. We now know, okay, which we've been talking about for a while now, that they're trying to bring about other entities, all right, from other dimensions, from these 11 dimensions that they found, okay, that my theory is that that's where black people come from, from the highest dimension, okay, because we're talking about uh, one being on a certain frequency, okay? All right, all these dimensions are together, but one can't see the other because one's higher than the other. Do you see what I'm saying? But one can see the other because one's higher than the other. All right. But let me continue on with this and also check out the, uh, the occult symbolism they have, which I'm sure you already seen before I pause the video. They are doing those things, period, right now. And they're cranking it up to the highest levels we've ever seen ever in modern human history. We're just pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. We don't know what we're gonna find at 13 TV at the LAC. We don't know what we're gonna find at 13 TV at the LAC. So they'll have you believe they're just screwing around with dark matter, extra dimensions, black holes, and they have no idea really what they're actually gonna find. That's what they're saying. Makes, makes me feel really warm and gushy inside. But the truth is, somebody does know. They're just not telling the rest of us. Because that's how these major scientific experiments always work. They're always compartmentalized. Somebody knows. And this video is part of an experimental music showcase they held literally at the Large Hadron Collider by a band called Deerhoof. And while it wasn't quite as creepy as the occultic dance opera Symmetry, which they also showcased at the LHC, this music, which I'm not going to play. I keep trying to tell you, they're occultists. Y'all who think, oh, they're just scientists, they're just trying to, f no. All right? These people think of themselves as wizards. All right? Because it hurt me. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the kind of music you would hear in the background of a film that starts with a couple of gullible 20-somethings who wind up in a random third world country where they don't speak the language and then suddenly they're yanked off the street in the first 30 minutes and the last hour of the film is them being tortured in horrible ways in a warehouse somewhere. So back to this, it's pretty much everything you need to know about CERN. 
what they're doing straight from a physicist at CERN. So what are we looking for? Things like dark matter, dark energy, supersymmetry, uh, quantum black holes, large extra dimensions. That's not speculation on the part of me or the alternative media. That is straight from the mouth of a physicist literally there. Look at what happened in the beam dump on beam two in the rock, guys. Never before have you seen that image. This is normally what you see in a dump. You've seen probably near, nearly a hundred videos on this subject from this channel. That's not what it looks like. And while there's no democratic process about whether or not the rest of humanity thinks tinkering with dark matter, creating quantum black holes, or opening up other dimensions is a good idea, hey, let's recreate the Big Bang. That sounds smart. Things like dark matter, dark energy, supersymmetry, uh, quantum black holes, large extra dimensions. But really, we're just pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. We don't know what we're going to find at 13 TV at the LHC. I guess we're all just supposed to sit around trusting guys like this with his pastel yellow suit jacket skinny jeans combo when he says, point blank and rather blasé, we don't know what we're going to find at the LHC. We're just pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. We don't know what we're going to find at 13 TV at the LHC. Great. Thank you for watching, and peace and balance to the ancient ones.